Tonight in Boynton Beach, a renewed call for a police officer to be fired. The family of 13 year old Stanley Davis III says a police officer's actions are to blame for a deadly dirt bike crash. WPTV's Camero Eppinger has the demonstration outside of police headquarters this evening, Cam. Hadi and Michael, I spoke with Stanley's parents and they tell me for the past three months they have been waiting for answers and tonight they say the officer involved should not only be fired but also held accountable for their son's death. Stand up for Stanley! Stand up for Stanley! Stand up for Stanley! Family members, activists and attorneys joined in solidarity Friday night sending a message to Boynton Beach Police. Fire Mark Shaw! It's a renewed call to terminate one of their own. The officer involved in an attempted traffic stop moments before the dirt bike crash of 13 year old Stanley Davis III. He has a rap sheet that shows it. He's abusing the community and he has to go. He has to go today. A review of Son's personnel for record shows a history of reprimands. In 2004, the department suspended Son for 57 hours for violating at least 12 different rules and policies in a vehicle pursuit. Since then, he has been disciplined two other times for unsatisfactory performance in a vehicle pursuit. Strike one, strike two. Strike three, you out! Officer Son was also nominated for the Officer of the Month in 2016, and he was given a police duty medal. Right now, his actions on the day of Davis's December crash near Federal Highway and Boynton Beach Boulevard remain under investigation. Why do you chase that kid? What is it about our children that you feel they are so dangerous that you got to use excessive force to detain them. It's like a nightmare that I'm not waking up from, unfortunately. Stanley's mother tells me she's still on a desperate search for answers and accountability. I have to watch my son lie in a pl puddle of blood right before my eyes. That's what replays back in my head and knowing that's all I had. I have nothing now. We reached out to the Boynton Beach Police Department today for a response. In a statement, the agency says, quote, the Florida Highway Patrol still has an open investigation into this accident. Pursuant to the advice from the attorney retained by the city and its insurer, no further comment will be made until the investigation concerning this accident is completed, end quote. And the family also tells me the reason why they picked today to host today's rally is because today actually marks 20 years since the day Son was hired here by the Boynton Beach Police Department. We're live tonight. I'm Kimberell Eppinger, WPTV News Channel 5.